Hello programmers, in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a new column in Apache Spark dataset using Java. Fine, let's get into the program. So this is a simple JSON file which we are going to use which I have in the fields like title, first name, last name, gender and mobile. And so this is a simple Java class. It's a simple main method. So here I just creating the Spark session object. Here I just getting the file path of the JSON which we are going to use and here I just loading the JSON file into the Spark dataset with the option multi line as a true and here I just display the record I mean the source record fine let's see how to create the dataset in the existing dataset so first we need to access the dataset which we need to create the new column so here we are going to create a new column in this data set so in the data set there is a function called with column so in the first parameter we have to give the column name and the second parameter we have the give we have to give the value so if you go with some constant value in the sense we have to select functions dot lit and inside the lit function we have to give the constant value so now i'm going to define some empty so which means i'm going to create some empty column it's having header in the name of column name but it's a values are empty and i'm going to assign it to some data set object make the object name as null value and I'm going to print the schema and later I'm going to print the records and next we're going to see how to create empty column name and empty value and I just copied the same function you want so the same function in the here we just need to remove the column name now you can see there is no value in the column name and the value also null and i'm going to make this as empty value and i'm going to print the schema and as table next i'm going to create how to add new column with integer value so just copy paste the same function and so inside the functions underscore lit i we have to define any integer number like here i'm going to define 100 and so here i'm going to make the column as a Int column and just go into assign to some object and I'm going to print the schema and I'm going to print the table as well and let's see how to create some string constant just same copy paste and I'm going to make string column so again so whatever the values the I mean the string value we have to give you inside the double quotes I'm going to give some underscore data some data and I'm going to print the schema I want to print the value and uh, next we will create the new column and the value is combination of existing two columns all of them I'm just going to make the existing value and here we have to use functions dot concat 
because we're going to use the existing column right so we have to use concat to merge the values and later we have to use functions dot call because we're going to access we're going to get the value of existing column so here i'm going to give title and i just copy this the same with the comma separated value and first name and the last name and the column is first name and last name and so we'll make some arrangements so that you can easily understand so title first name and last name and between the title we have to give some constant i mean the space so that we can easily understand so as i said earlier so if you want to mention any constants we have to use lit instead of call i'm going to name the value here and then it's going to print the schema and value i'm going to run the program great it has completed mm, let's see so the existing values you can see mr richard james there is no space but the values has been appended and mr jess rose and miss stephanie anderson miss steph miss annie clips we'll see the schema as well you can see there is a new field is added with the string value right and then the next string so it's a string column you can see the sum underscore data let's see the schema as well yeah the string is the string column and it's a data type is string and it's an integer column the values are integer we'll check and confirm with the schema yeah it's an integer column and it's a data type is integer and here we can see empty header empty column i mean the values let's see the schema so you can see there is an empty and it's a type is data type i mean the string it's a column name there is a column name but the fields are empty i mean the values are empty let's check in the schema yeah you can see the column name is there and it's a database there so that's all about creating the new column in the apache spark data set using java if you have doubt or clarification please share in the comment section thanks for watching